Gustav Mahler, an Austrian composer born July 7, 1860, was a part of the late Romantic period of classical music composers. His Sixth Symphony was written between 1903 and 1904, and was premiered at the Saalbau Concert Hall in Essen, Germany on May 27, 1906, and it included a very peculiar instrument, the Mahler Hammer. If you're not familiar with the Mahler Hammer, chances are you may have seen it already, in GIF form. That's right, all of these percussionists giving their best impression of Thor, Odin's son, protector of Asgard, are actually playing their part in Gustav Mahler's Sixth Symphony. The symphony itself is in four movements, and there is a bit of controversy around which order to play the second and third movements. The first printed edition of the symphony has the scherzo as the second movement, and the andante as the third movement. However, at the Essen premiere in 1906, Mahler conducted the symphony to play the andante second and the scherzo third. To this day, you can find performances of both variations. The hammer itself makes its appearance in the fourth and final movement of the symphony. Originally written with three hammer blows, Mahler later removed the last one, but you can find performances of both versions. The hammer blows are described by Mahler to be brief and mighty, but dull in resonance and with a non-metallic character, like the fall of an axe. That kind of sound is hard to create, especially the dull non-metallic character that is called for. This has led to a surprising diversity of methods and devices to play the hammer blows. Most involve some sort of custom-made wooden mallet of varying size. Sometimes the mallet is used to strike a block of wood, sometimes a custom-made wooden box is built for the hammer to strike, and sometimes more traditional instruments like the bass drum are used to create the effect. Each of the hammer blows have been described as blows of fate to the hero or protagonist of the symphony that eventually destroy our hero. This analysis has some merit in the fact that after the hammer blows, the symphony reaches for a major resolution, but eventually ends in the minor. No matter the method, the Mahler hammer is a great example of a non-traditional instrument being used in classical music. Do you know of any other examples of non-traditional instruments in classical music, or questions about Mahler's sixth? Let me know in the comments below. Today's video is made with support from our Patreon patrons, who get exclusive updates and other rewards. Click the Patreon link for more info on how you can support Odd Quartet. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it, and click subscribe for more videos.